Brought to you by wikivd.com Curse of Chucky Curse of Chucky is a 2013 American supernatural slasher film, and the sixth installment of the Child's Play franchise. The film was written and directed by Don Mancini who created the franchise and wrote all films to date. It stars Brad Dorif as Chucky and Fiona Dorif as Nicka Pierce as well as Danielle Bisati, a Martinez and Brennan Elliott. The film grossed $3.4 million in DVD sales. The film sees the return to the franchise's source material and bringing back the straightforward horror elements found in the first three Child's Play films. The film which went into production in September 2012 is the first direct-to-video installment of the series. Curse of Chucky is distributed by Universal Studios Home Entertainment and debuted via VOD September 24, 2013. This was followed by a DVD and Blu-ray disc release October 8, 2013 in the United States. The film was also turned into a scare zone for 2013's annual Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios Hollywood. Though the film was made with the intention of being released direct to video, it also was released theatrically in some countries as Mexico and Brazil. The film was followed by Cult of Chucky in 2017. Plot 25 years after the events of the first film Chucky mysteriously arrives in the mail at the home of paraplegic Nicka Pierce and her mother Sarah. Later that night Sarah is found dead from a stab wound and her death is ruled as a suicide. Nicka is later visited by her sister Barb, accompanied by her husband Ian, their daughter Alice live in Nanny Jill and father Frank. Alice finds Chucky and is allowed to keep him. That evening while Alice and Nicka are making soup, Chucky secretly pours rat poison into one of the dinner bowls. Father Frank eats the poison and, after leaving the house, is decapitated in a car accident. That night, Nicker investigates Ch Chucky on the internet and finds news articles about the murders tied to both the doll and Charles Lee Ray. Elsewhere, Chucky kicks a bucket of rainwater onto the floor's power outlet, electrocuting Jill and causing a blackout. Bob gets up to check on Alice and is attacked by Chucky, who stabs her in the eye with a kitchen knife. Nicka hears Bob's cries but has to crawl up the stairs. Once upstairs Nicka discovers that Bob is dead and Chucky is alive. When Chucky flees Nicka wakes Ian up in a panic. Ian takes Nicka to the garage but is unable to find Alice. He disarms Nicka, believing her to be responsible for the murders. Nicka tries to explain that Chucky is alive, but Chucky acts like a lifeless doll when Ian looks at him. Ian decides to review the footage from a hidden camera that he planted on Chucky earlier, and learns that Alice is locked in a closet and that Chucky truly is alive. Exposed, Chucky kills Ian with a hatchet before he can act. Nicka manages to break out of her restraints and tries to kill Chucky, but Chucky pushes her over a balcony onto the ground floor. When Nicka asks why Chucky is doing this he explains through flashbacks that as Charles Lee Ray, he was a friend of her family and in love with Sarah. Ray killed Nicka's father and kidnapped Sarah while she was pregnant with Nicka. When Sarah betrayed him, he stabbed her in the stomach and escaped. Ray's flight from the police ultimately led to his death as a human which is why he came back to Sarah for revenge. Before Chucky can kill Nicka she fights back leading to an extended scuffle. Officer Stanton arrives at the house, but sees Nicka holding the bloody knife after finding Barb's body. Emotionless Chucky watches from a nearby chair. Some time later Nicka is found guilty of the murders and sent to a mental asylum. Chucky is retained by the police as an exhibit for her trial. The arresting officer gets in his car and sees Chucky breathing in the bag. 
He is killed by Tiffany who had been hiding in the back seat. Tiffany collects Chucky and asks who's next. Meanwhile Alice now living with her grandmother comes home from school to find Chucky waiting for her. Chucky persuades Alice to play hide the soul and starts the infamous voodoo chant to transfer his soul into Alice's body. The grandmother who Chucky has attacked but did not kill sits up suddenly suffocating in a plastic bag shortly after Chucky begins the chant. In a post credit scene set six months later Chucky, still in his doll body, is delivered to the now-adult Andy Barkley. When Andy turns his back to answer a phone call from his mother, Chucky cuts his way out of the package with a knife. Andy, who had anticipated Chucky coming after him again, shoots Chucky with a gun. Production in an August 2008 interview Don Mancini and David Kirshner spoke of a planned reboot of the Chucky franchise to be written and directed by Mancini. They described their choice of a remake over a sequel as a response to the will of the fans who want to see a scary Chucky movie again and want to go back to the straightforward horror rather than the horror comedy. They indicated that Brad Dorif would return as the voice of Chucky. In a subsequent interview, Mancini described the remake as a darker and scarier retelling of the original movie but one that, while having new twists and turns will not stray too far from the original concept. At a 2009 horror convention Brad Dorif confirmed his role in the remake. At a reunion panel, at the Mad Monster Party horror and sci-fi convention the cast and crew from the original film confirmed both a remake and a spin-off are in development. Writer Don Mancini and producer David Kirshner were working on a sequel titled Revenge of Chucky. In June 2012 it was confirmed that a sequel would enter production entitled Curse of Chucky and be released direct-to-video. Filming The film began production in early September 2012 in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, and ended in mid-October. In November 2012 Don Mancini announced that filming for Curse of Chucky had been completed and he planned to release it Halloween 2013. Release and Marketing in May 2013 Fiona Dorif released the first image of Chucky through her Instagram. The image is from the film's soundtrack cover and shows Chucky looking more like the doll from the first three films rather than the previous last two films. The official trailer was released on July 8, 2013. The film's official Red Band trailer was released August 1, 2013. The film received its world premiere on August 2, 2013 at the Fantasia Festival in Montreal. The film also received its European premiere at the London Fright Fest Film Festival on August 22, 2013 accompanied with a screening of the original trilogy of Child's Play films. The DVD was released on October 8, 2013 and grossed $3.4 million in the US. Reception The film holds an 81% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes based on 16 reviews. An early review posted on Bloody Disgusting on August 2, 2013 was very favorable of the film. Brad Miska stated Curse of Chucky may just be the best home video sequel since Wrong Turn 2. It's alarmingly good which puts pressure on Universal to answer as to why they didn't let Mancini shoot this for theaters. He continued to say, Chucky fans should rejoice though as Curse of Chucky is clearly going to reignite the franchise for years to come. Ryan Larson of Shock Till You Drop also had mostly positive things to say about it stating that the movie does so much right that it's easy to overlook the very few flaws it has. The pacing and writing coincide to create a fun blood-soaked jaunt that never gets boring or dull. 
He goes on to praise the director, pointing out that Mancini does a great job at introducing and ushering off characters in a fashion that doesn't bog the film down. With a bunch of characters who get three minutes of film time before getting the axe or butcher knife in this case. The kills are kitschy but in the best way possible, waxing nostalgic of the slasher films of the late 80s and early 90s. At the film's world premiere at the Montreal Fantasia Festival it received a gold award for Best International Feature. Halloween Horror Nights Curse of Chucky received its own scare zone in the 2013 lineup at Universal Studios Hollywood's Halloween Horror Nights. This is not the first time Chucky has been featured at Halloween Horror Nights. In 2009, the franchise received its own maze entitled Chucky's Fun House in Hollywood, a seasonal re-theming of Universal Studios Hollywood's year-round attraction Universal's House of Horrors and Chucky, Friends Till the End at Universal Studios Florida themed around the good guys factory and scenes featuring Chucky and other childhood toys gone bad. Since 1992 Chucky has starred in his own shows Hollywood Chucky's In Your Face Insults and Chucky's Insult Emporium. In 2010 Chucky was featured in the 20 Years of Fear Scare Zone in Florida. Brought to you by Wikivd.com would you like to know more?